What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back with more Dark Souls 3. So when we left off, did a little bit of running around. Um, I did find what I think is where we're supposed to go. Uh, but first, one thing we didn't get last time, there's a little door right here after you get the uh, red sign soapstone. And you run on in, you hit the bonfire, and then right here we have the new red covenant. So pretty freaking awesome um, you exchange the tongues that we've been picking up for stuff but as you can see we can do uh, attribute reallocation we can do it five times during this lifetime on top of that I can also alter my appearance or I can just offer the pale tongue so we haven't done anything yet uh, we did join the covenant just for shits and giggles but now that we have all of the different areas up and that door opened we want to go back to the Cleansing Chapel bonfire. So I kept running around up top. I felt like after uh, coming around up top, there was there was something I was missing. You know, I wasn't sure what it was. Um, and after being able to find nothing, ultimately, I ended up going back down to the bottom, which is where I kind of figured out this. So uh, just on a whim basically decided I was going to suicide run past our uh, our friend over here and it actually worked out and it turns out that instead of that being a, a closed container like the one up top it actually connects us through so if you go all the way over here and then start running oh no I'm getting stuck on the toes might get hit once, but you can make it. And then you just roll. And now he'll go back to sleep. So I'm not sure if there's a uh, an item you can get that lets you walk on the sludge to go faster. Um, you know, that's been a common theme in the other games, but here we are. We've made it. What's up, buddy? So I'm not sure, um, I kind of want to try and bait them into the giant. I'm not sure if they'll do that. I don't think they will. like they're gonna come to the giant that's okay though we don't need them to come to the giant I just thought it'd be funny to watch the giant stomp all over them come here great sword man oh man you hit hard But not hard enough. Damn it, I keep hoping he'll drop his sword, but he never does. No sleeping in church. And this is the only area I hadn't explored. I had a feeling that I had to get over here, just wasn't sure how, and sure enough, you just gotta run through all the sludge and you make it on over. Never would have thought the solution was to actually just run for it, and would you look at that, I bet you guys can guess where this goes. to go up. I want to make sure. I'm willing to bet this is the elevator I didn't have unlocked before. And uh, yes, there it is. Excellent. So I'm guessing we could have done this area uh, much earlier. But, like I said, my, my last, last thought process was, oh, let's just run through all that shit. Oh, 
yeah. Definitely boss. Just checking for loot. Not seeing anything. Considering the giant altar here, I have a feeling this is our boy uh, Aldrich. I hope it is. We'll certainly find out. Deacons of the Deep. Spear to win, bitches! Stuff. When are you going to learn? Making me fight a bunch of slow moving enemies is not a challenge. I think I got to hit the fatties. No. Who do I got to? I got to hit the red ones. glowing red one in the big pile of shit. No, technically there's... hang on, where is it? Is it, is it the ones that have the candles? Hmm. It's gotta be that guy. It's gotta be whoever is glowing at the time. No, maybe not. What the hell? Oh, yeah. So the glow... The glow transitions between people, and whoever gets the glow, that's the one we have to hit. It's like a game of Hot Potato, Dark Souls Edition. It's an interesting boss. Why are you guys using Bloodborne Screams? Oh shit, that goes straight through pillars. Okay, this fight just got interesting. I will say this is a lot of bullshit between me and the boss. But unfortunately, I can... no, oh, give me a little bit of trouble here. Damn. Okay, that that is fucking cheesy. Hit these guys to stop the uh Oh Okay. So this fight is a bit more multifaceted than I thought it was at first. It seems like we have to Phase one is going to be boss hot potato. Phase two is going to be I gotta knock out apparently I can kill the guys that are channeling. So I gotta kill them off, and then I gotta get back to the boss. Which, now that I, I actually have um, my pyromancies back, I think I'll be fine. I mean, fighting my way through all the knights and whatnot without realizing that. 
um, the boss. Like, I mean, I, I had an idea it was going to be a boss once I saw the fog, but I should have just gone back and, and Estus up, especially considering the run is so short. So that guy go down right here. I went into the fight half cocked. Only have myself to blame. But not this time. You will die. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Tricky, tricky elevator. Trying to pull a fast one on me. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to go kill the guy in the back. Yeah, you, you guys can just chill. I'm just going to go kill the boss. Actually, more so than doing damage, it seems like I just have to, whichever one is red, I just have to run in and kill, and that's it. Oh god, no, I'm getting stuck. Time to dip the fuck out. Who's helping the channel? I gotta stop that. God, you fucking dicks! There's so fucking many of them! I can't even get in to use the fireball on them. This is getting annoying. Because this boss isn't like... It's not... It's, oh God. it's not even like hard in the traditional sense. It's just... Really weird to deal with. Um,
And I think for starters, I think I'll be better off doing um, just one-handed R2 sweeps because I can hit more guys with that at once. Let's see, just to test some stuff. So the R2s, let me get full, full stamina. One, two, three. I can get three full swings in with that. As so if I do this, two. I don't think those are hitting as hard though. That's the thing. At least that's what it seems like. I wonder if I could use um, like a holy weapon to just keep them undead, like uh, like hit them and they don't get back up, because that'd be super fucking convenient in this fight. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to clear a path. I'm gonna have to just clear the path with R2 regulars and then uh, pyros. Yeah, because two R2s is enough to to cause the swap. God. Off me, fatty. Fuck out of my way. God, what an annoying boss. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep and a small doll. Give me back my ember. What is the small doll for? Dark Sigil? Young Squire. In the legendary old city of Irithal, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sylvain gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully, and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithal. Wherever you may be, Irithal is your home. Boreal Valley. So I just gotta find where this barrier is at, and now that I have that doll, I can cross it. But I gotta find it first. <laughs> I mean, we we fought um the dude. We fought um Duders. What was his name? 
he was a boreal knight. But I don't think that related to Boreal Valley, necessarily, so... I'm not sure. I'm gonna... Well, I mean, the obvious solution is to uh, just go to Firelink Shrine, talk to everybody, and more than likely, um, they'll end up just kind of telling me where to go. That's usually what ends up happening. Um, in particular, this dude, he usually gives some heads up. admission to the Legion. Inside their keep, even I out their flames. Gaining it, even he just keeps talking about Legion for now. Oh well. Oh, wait, who's that? New person. New person. Oh, and we meet again. Oh, never mind. Not new person. Before on the road of sacrifices, Andre of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but. Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Farron Keep. Shit. Which sucks, because once we get to the Farron Watchers, that's where I have to stop for embargo purposes. Well, let's see what this new soul can do for us. Soul. Fire Darkened Soul Sediment. It's a sorcery. Fires Dark Soul Drag. Souls which swell with a deep pursue their targets, so it's like pursuers. Cleric's Candlestick. Temporary source of light, which reveals additional guidance. It's kind of lame. Man, I want, I want this thing. The demon's great axe thing. Badass. That's what I want. That's what I want to get my hands on. I, I could use this. Hmm. Oh well. Well, either way, guys, uh, that is going to be it for now. Obviously, we got to. Uh, make our way on over to the abyss watchers and that's where my footage has to end but in the very least we'll make our way up there so thanks for coming on by and we will see you next time with more dark souls 3